Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to reset Microsoft Edge if you are using a Windows 7 device. So let's say you are using a Windows 7 device and you've installed Microsoft Edge on that device. And at one moment in time, Microsoft Edge becomes very slow or unresponsive. So what you need to do, first of all, if I, let me just show you, if I go to my start menu, here you can see I'm using, let me just enter Windows version. Um, Windows version. And let me just click Windows version. Here you can see I'm using a Windows 7 Professional. Let me click OK. So to actually reset Microsoft Edge, what you need to do in Windows 7, you need to go to your settings and more. So click settings. I just wait for our settings to get started. So when your settings get started, what you need to do is you can see here we have the option called reset settings. So when you click on reset settings, it's going to say restore settings to their default values. So what I need to do right now is to click on that. And here it's telling me that this will reset your startup page, new tab page, search engine and pin tabs. It also turn off all extensions and clear temporary data like cookies. Do you want to do that? I'll just click. History and save password will not be cleared. I'll not just click reset. And you can see it says settings we are reset. So, but what we can actually do again is well, I will do the following. Let me go to the application wizard.cpl and it's going to open my programs and features. So when your programs and future gets open, what you need to do right now is here you can see we have Microsoft Edge here. So by clicking on Microsoft Edge, you don't need to actually click on install, just click change. So by clicking change, it gives you actually the option to actually reset your browser. So let's just wait for some seconds for the changes to get pop up. So here you can see we have, it says Microsoft Edge you have to, uh, resetting, but at this one is actually in dot, it says Microsoft Edge has telling. So here you can see we have reset or we can click cancel. So what I need to do right now is just click on reset. You can see it says Microsoft, it's actually trying to download Microsoft Edge again and then reset your browsers to its default settings. So I think that I will actually prefer this method of actually resetting my browser if your browser is unresponsive and so um, I'm also, and your browser is actually being blocked most of the time and it's very very slow I would actually prefer to go to my programs and future and reset Microsoft Edge from there so you can see it says it's actually busy with downloading Microsoft Edge it depends on how fast your internet actually is so you know, we download Microsoft Edge and then reinstall it back again but mind you your safe password will not be deleted let's let just wait for some seconds for this to get fixed so here you can see it says we are waiting for the installation of microsoft edge so at this moment microsoft edge is actually being installed it seems as if microsoft edge is being installed on this device which of course it is but mind you your browser is going to be reset but only your safe password will not be deleted so let's just wait for some seconds for this to get reinstalled and then we can see the end result so here you can see it says installation completed so we can now just close this pop-up and then close our programs and future and what you need to do is actually just close it um, microsoft edge and then restart it again so by restarting your microsoft edge then you now see that all your actually all your history has been deleted and your, that your microsoft edge has been restored back to its default settings Thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video and please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more it related video you can always go to my blog kelglobal.com and send me a personal uh, email and i'll respond to you as quick as possible and here you can see it says microsoft edge has been updated so what has also happen is it's actually to install the latest microsoft edge if your browser has not been updated thank you very much and